No more can't put on these compression socks. The beautiful one's up. I might not be able to do it with my fingers. She can do it. I wish that it was a toeless one. And then you spot me. It's hard. I thought it would be a lot easier. No, or I it's volunteered. not. I, I, I gave up for a reason. Thank you, Becky. So we're getting it. Um, swelling is way down in this foot this morning. Yeah, it is. Like half or more. So the goal today is, you know, I might have sprained this, plus it has the little arthritis. So just keep it elevated as much as possible. Don't stand on it. Emily, the other thing's got to, I think I'm gonna sit at that table and put my foot up. So I might do what Emily's doing. <laughs> do the entrepreneur hustle at the kitchen table. I think we did it. Okay. You up for the other foot? Yeah. Or I guess you don't want you don't want to do the other foot? It doesn't really have as many problems. We can do the other foot, I don't know. Right. Rebecca, I think they might be milking those rascals. They, they did be. set this up. Can you tell me if the milking pails are in the in the dishwasher? I don't think they are. I'm pretty sure they are. And those yesterday. kids. You coming with? Good kids. I mean, how long have I been dealing with sickness? Five, six weeks? Do they still have this element of desire to like surprise us? Grab the milk supplies and hurry up and get the chores done and milk. I did get the compression socks on. I'm gonna try to keep my foot elevated as much as possible. I'm feeling very hopeful though. I mean, I, I did have a bad uh, evening. You saw it got rough towards the evening, but I'm feeling good this morning. I've had no new pains in four days. Maybe this reactive arthritis tour is over. Willie? Oh, that's right. Took Willie up to get Cuddy yesterday. So he's up top. I didn't take my pain medicine until after my bath last night. So I laid there awake for quite some time thinking about things. And one of the things I thought about was this bad habit I have. I think a lot of us have. As I lay in the bed, I thought of something I said yesterday. Remember when I said I can't uh, give Henry his massage now because of my hands? Before my injury, I would give Gideon, a, or why do I call him Gideon? Henry. Henry, Henry. a massage with the towel on The baby yeah. bomb. The baby bomb. So, yeah, I can't wait to get back to that. Well, I don't want to say can't. Saying can't is a bad habit. We'll let Willie warm up for a second. You guys have heard this before. I need to say, how can I? And then rack my brain for possibilities. Maybe I don't do it in the evening. Maybe I do it earlier in the day when Rebecca's helpful. Maybe I, you know, maybe I don't do a full on all hands but two fingers or one finger let's see if i can't make my way over there and you guys still hear me despite the sound i think it's gonna be too loud and it's louder because of the shed um, i think i'm almost done i think there are times where it's not appropriate to do something or it is impossible maybe you've gone through the exercise of how can i i'm not saying we're gonna put shaquille o'neal on a racehorse in the kentucky derby it's warmed up let's turn it off for a second I would still like to eliminate can't from my vocabulary and replace it with, and this would be a test to see if you really can't, I don't want to, or I won't. And then you say, I won't give my son a massage right now because of my hands. And if you're okay with that, then there's peace. But if that doesn't sit right, which it really doesn't, then definitely need to be asking, how can I? Here, let's swing you around, let's get in here. So I don't like that can't excuse. I wanna just start owning up to I won't or I don't want to and explore, like if I really do want to, then don't say can't, say how can I? So we're gonna give Mr. Henry a massage. Probably while I'm feeling good in the morning after chores. 
That's my dream woman right there. Look at that. That's the milk. Did y'all go milk? Yeah. <laughs> well, how'd it go? It was fine. You got everybody milk talk good? Yeah. Okay. Give hugs. Thanks. Proud of you, little rascals. Well, Thanks, Arun. Now we gotta go around and check your jobs. Okay. You guys okay with that? Okay. <laughs> okay, what was your hurry? What did you want to do? Go inside and eat a snack. Okay, so that's why you hustled and got all the chores done? Well, we well should we eat a, we didn't have should a you go grab a little quick snack? No. And we gotta get the rest of the potatoes. We have four bags of potatoes. Thank you, Josiah. Three little pigs doing great. I feel like they're a little behind in their weight, so we started socking it to them with the grain as well. And this is what I like to see. They've eaten and they've got a little leftover. Look at the little squash growing right there. Yeah. <laughs> I want to feed these guys all our scraps. And I want to feed these guys 20 pounds of grain. Okay. 20 pounds every day? Yeah, every day. Pretty much all they want to eat. Yeah, Because yeah, we're growing them up for feeders. Hopefully October, November. She's due in August. August is like next month. <laughs> August is in like a couple of weeks, so. We gotta think about getting these guys out because we need to get him out of there and then she'll have a furrow pin in there and she can have her babies. So he needs to come over here and these pigs needs to go to the pasture or forest. I don't know, I saw yesterday how wonderful the pigs had did to reestablish that pasture. I'm kind of thinking we might put them out there to help us rebuild that pasture. Fat chicks, let's move the coop forward a length. Hey, we need to think about getting these gals up on the Crappy pasture. They're like on our one of our best pastures right now. We want them on crappy pasture so that they rebuild that pasture with their manure. They're kind of down here just, we're surviving. Survival mode means our chickens can be manuring and fertilizing great pasture. Survival mode does not mean animals don't get moved. It's not an option. They have to get moved. This can maybe be one more day. Tomorrow we're gonna need to move them. There are certain compromises, like the geese are eating tight turkey feed right now. It seems to be working out okay. But, they're not staying in one place. They're getting moved. It has to happen. It's not an option. Animals have to either be on vibrant decomposition, de-bedding, or moving, rest and sanitation. Good morning, buddy. Good morning, Nacho. Yeah, let's clean that water out, it's a little yellow. It needs to be moved forward another three or four feet. I ran with his brush. <laughs> he's carrying his brush around. <laughs> Coming in handy right now, look at all that grime he's getting off of it. Let's get brushes, let's label them. Let's label them Willy, and then the Willy brush stays in Willy. Let's label one Sally, and it stays in Sally. Once you get these wheels straightened out, it'll go. There you go. That one's straightened out. You got one more to go straighten. There you go, guys. Look at these strong guys. How's the turkey water, Arun? Is it full? The boys are over <laughs> I don't know what they had in mind. Ah, but I check it every day. Bless them. I think they were doing it to get it over with and didn't think I would come over them. Run in his brush. <laughs> I need to get you a brush, put your name on it, give you a keychain for it. <laughs> put it on your hip. Day one in here, I think we're to where these guys need to get moved every day. I'm gonna have some mercy on them today. We need to move these guys. Hey, we have to move these guys tomorrow and then every day. We're heading up that way. We're gonna cross, end up crossing the road. And we're gonna end up back on the cruddy pasture. Cause look at this deposit. This is a crazy deposit. Look how good I'm walking. Wow. Feeling very encouraged this morning. No new paints. This is it, this is it. This might be the breakthrough. Probably stood out there a little too long. She came back and put my foot up. Gotta get in that habit today. Keep the foot up. Hey boys. I know this isn't your favorite, and you did a good job getting up and doing the chores this morning. I'm thinking if mom lets me, and I know you guys don't really want to be doing potatoes right now, uh, you can have some of that leftover blueberry cobbler okay. with ice cream. Just us? After this. Just me and Josiah? Just you and Josiah. And me. <laughs> <laughs> and Arun if he wants some. 
course. This is about to go against every fiber of my body. It's hard enough to just stand and watch. It's gonna be really hard to sit and willy with my foot up and watch. But it's a long-term play. They did it. Good job, guys. Proud of you. Gross. We're gonna have to get these rotten potatoes or squash out of here. That's just gross. Hey, get this water out of the way. Is that it? Nine yeah. sacks? That's from three rows. So we did three bags a row, three, six, nine. We got two more rows, so we need six more bags. These are our pierced ones that we need to eat first, soon, right away. Or we'll boil them and give them to the chickens or pigs. It was amazing how those boys' spirits lifted when I mentioned that collar. <laughs> it was night and day. Mom's blueberry cobbler from a neighbor's blueberries. That changed y'all's attitude this morning, didn't it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's a little bit of a treat this morning. Y'all deserve it. Thanks, guys, for all your help. You're next. You want the massage? Rebecca, should I do this right now? You should. Oh man, that okay. is almost through. If, if you want it, you You're gotta right. want it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not so sure about that. <laughs> All right, hand me that lotion, potion. We got Toops Baby Balm. Grass-fed tallow, not just tallow. Organic virgin olive oil, organic essential oils, and German chamomile. Not just any old chamomile. It's just safer for babies. Oh, and blue yarrow. So did you, did you actually mix this? Or do you have somebody working for you that mixes this? Um, I make them. You made this. Oh look, I can do this. You get caught up in the camp mentality and you don't realize you've come around. <laughs> uh, I'm doing just fine. We need some smell vision in here. Oh man. It's, it's a light scent, it's not overbearing, but it's nice. Definitely gonna add to the good baby smell. Are you grabbing the vloggers? Are you giving them some love? I'm putting the excuses behind me. Either I want it or I don't. There we go. Now we connect it in a special way. She came over here with this. <laughs> what is this? Tell them what this it's is. Uh, black oxygen organics. It's um, okay. fulvic acid. What else? Rubber tire. A humic acid. I've already, I've it's already tasted. humic acid. It's got antioxidants. Yeah. Um, charcoal. <laughs> Have you tasted this? I did. It's not that bad. It tastes like I'm chewing on the bottom of my shoe. Stop it. <laughs> Henry is watching you. I know. He thinks I it's I so took funny. this and then I was like, this is definitely going to work better with a camera. So he thought that I was joking. Oh, <laughs> sorry. I really did think you were joking. I he did. you were drinking it. I, I did taste it. I'm going to drink it. I just want to make am. sure you didn't put too much. <laughs> Cut in the head. I Cut in the ball head. This. Your drink turn. Drink it. Your turn. No, you have to drink it all. It says drink three times a day. Uh-uh. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to try it. She's going to see what I'm talking about. Just wait for the aftertaste. It's not that bad. It does taste like tire, but it's not that bad. Tastes okay. like tire. Drink the rest. <laughs> yes, yeah, see. She don't want more. She's like me. She don't want more. <laughs> Homegrown onions. Let's see, homegrown onions. It's probably homegrown tomatoes. Homegrown tomatoes. It wasn't. Just, uh, <laughs> just go with it, Becky. You, you always start over. No. I mean, these are homegrown, so. No, it's I mean, good. This is sorry. this is oh, yeah. It might as well have been, Beck. Well Why didn't we use those? Yeah. We couldn't use those. Oh, well, we probably have an old store bought ones. If we're in the spirit of homegrown here, homegrown beef. 